pretending to run. My name is John Wilby, I'm past president of the Rotary Club of Saltburn by the Sea. I was lucky enough to be in the chair when we went through the membership revolution. My name is Julie and John's wife and I've been a proud member of Rotary Club of Saltburn by the Sea for two years now. Two years ago our club consisted of 11 members, they were all male and our average age was over 74 years old. Now we have got 28 members, 50-50 split between female and males. Average age is below 60, we have plenty of members between the age group of 30 and 50. The way we attracted new younger people, um, first of all we started inviting friends and family to our social events um, so they could see how much fun we had as a club and then we invited them to our weekly meetings and then they could see the se more serious part to it and what we're actually there for. But it just showed that we knew how to have fun, we, we weren't all just serious and sat around the table. I'll have two winners please. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> you tell me. Uh... We've got a brilliant mix at the moment. Yeah. We've got experience, but we've got newness, we've got vibrancy, we've got energy in the club now, and they both feed off each other, don't they? Yeah. I'm Lou Foster, and I'm the first lady president of Saltburn Rotary Club in its 95 years. I'd not really thought about joining Rotary before, and it was through a friend um, that we were invited to a lot of the social events. If somebody had asked me what, what's Rotary, I would have said, a bunch of men in suits meeting once a week. Is that the right thing to say? Completely changed my impression of it though. No way is Saltburn like that. We have a lot of fun. Um, we do lots of things in the local community. Um, we raise lots of money for charity, for different things that help and support um, all different members of the community as well, whether it be elderly members of the community or young people in the community. I think the biggest project we've done, which by no coincidence were by two new members, and when they were associate members, uh, when they started it was the Rotor Kids and we've got a very vibrant, we've got a, it's thriving is our Rotor Kids yeah. Club, it's been doing two years now and that's the biggest project we've done. My name is Fred and I'm seven years old. I like to join the Rotary Club because my granddad and mum call do it. Ready, Freddy? To get to raise money to people who need it and get to have lots of fun. We've also had lots of like charity balls raising thousands for local community and all these have been organised and executed by new members. What I would say to the clubs who's in the same situation now as we were two years ago is youngsters or younger people want to join clubs and organisations. I think they're attracted to it but we've got to make our clubs attractive to them and that's what we did. We, we had to change the way we looked, we had to change it from formal meetings to informal meetings, we created more fun outings. Rotary is absolutely relevant today in the world, now more than any other time I've known. People do want to give back, people want to volunteer. Every penny tonight will go into Rotary charities. There's thousands of people in every community who want to do that. We've just got to make Rotary attractive so they want to do it with us. Don't be frightened to change, see it as a start of new beginnings and that's what we did.